All right, welcome to Web Design Lesson 2. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about hierarchy, alignment, and spacing, or in other words, how to make your websites not look like garbage. So if you haven't yet watched Web Design Lesson 1, be sure to click up here, this link. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we've got here is our website with a ton of content just thrown in there, and it looks pretty messy, right? So the first thing that we're going to want to do is use the principle of hierarchy to make the more important elements of your website stand out. We can do this by making elements larger, making the font weight thicker, or using color to draw more attention to the more important elements. So by taking the headers and making them bigger and thicker, just like that, we've been able to draw more attention to them, and those are gonna be the first things that people read. We can also use color to make different words, and of course, our calls to action stand out even more. Now this is looking good, but we wanna make sure that everything looks clean and professional. And we can do this by utilizing the principle of alignment. So you can see here by using a line to the left, we can push everything over and give it a little bit of alignment. We can also center align things if we would like to shake up the layout of our site while still giving it that professional feel. We can also align things horizontally again, just to make sure that everything looks fluid. And finally, we're gonna to wanna to give things a little room to breathe because if everything's super compressed and squished together, it's gonna to feel overwhelming for our users and it's gonna be really hard to consume the content. So let's pull things apart, give them a little space in between one another, and just like that, it's able to breathe a little bit more. You can also break things up into sections and use different background colors to make things look clean. And just like that, using hierarchy, alignment, and spacing, we've taken a pretty messy website with some basic content thrown in there and made it look pretty nice. So if you enjoyed this video and you're ready for Web Design Lesson 3, make sure to click below to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.